And so at Facebook, I've had more luck with connecting with clients. And I think that's because of some of the things we'll get into with Facebook. Um, but Facebook has some of the visual, although I cross post a lot of my visual from Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then as far as like original content on Facebook, this is where text posts can shine. And so with text posts, you can write fairly lengthy posts on Facebook, almost like a blog or, and they even have some kind of blog, um, elements that you can use on Facebook too. And, um, you can really utilize the text in those posts. And that's kind of their default square almost on Facebook is like writing. It used to be like writing a status. And so like as a business, you can have a business page and write a status and, and connect. But I also think at least like visually, the captions are a little more accessible, even with your visual posts on Facebook. So Facebook's a great way to share. Like this is the text information I really want to share. Yes. And going off of that text piece, links are so much easier to share in Facebook. Um, we didn't really talk about this too much in Instagram, but you can't really share links in Instagram, at least ones where you can just tap on and go to the thing, which makes um, your, you know, when you're trying to drive people, like you were saying earlier, Bonnie, to like your YouTube video, one of the ways to go around that on Instagram is to have a link in your bio that links to a bunch of other links. <laughs> yeah. So it's very meta, but, um, but on Facebook, you don't have to deal with that. You can put a thousand links in one post if you want to, and people can just go right to those links. So those are so much easier on Facebook. So I found it is easier to drive traffic two particular things through Facebook more so sometimes than it is Instagram. Um, so for example, um, if I am, I actually share in a, um, in my uh, page on my creative therapy umbrella page, I share every time that I do a new podcast episode, but that is directly linked to going back to my website where you can listen to the podcast. And it's so much easier on Facebook because people see it and the link's right there and they click it and they're there in two seconds versus on Instagram where you see it and then you have to go to the bio, then you have to go to the link page, and then you have to go in there. And so um, it's a really, really great place for uh, sending traffic if you want people to go to different things. I also love sharing articles and um, just sharing different tagging people. It's really easy and stuff like that. So links are really, really awesome and accessible on Facebook. Yeah, and another thing about Instagram is you can share links and stories, but you have to have like 10,000 followers, which yeah. is, a, is a lot. <laughs> so Someday. maybe one day I'll, I'll get there <laughs> so that I can link people immediately. I will say one workaround is if you have a podcast or something or have a song you want to share, you can go to Spotify, click share, click story. And it does share directly in the story. Just people don't always know. You have to like go up and click on like the top right. link. So I'll be like, here's my podcast there. And then you'd like, draw an arrow or use an arrow in the little yep. like circle it and and there's like a sneaky direct link if you share yeah. directly from Spotify yeah yeah and with stories Facebook has stories too honestly mm -hmm. I don't make stories on Facebook I just share my stories are connected with my Instagram account to my business account so when I post a story here most of them uh, go to Facebook some don't translate for whatever reason like they don't like if you share a video to your story it won't share it to Facebook, like almost too much sharing or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of the posts do transfer over. And so that's just what I do. Um, but I, you know, if you're just using Facebook and not Instagram, you could still have that same feature on Facebook and make those stories. It's very similar in its function and, and such. Although I, I don't know if the story is as popular on Facebook. Personally, I don't look at the stories as much on Facebook. No. Uh, as I and on Instagram, I'm just like <laughs> staring at yep. it. But you know, it's kind of what we're talking about with cross posting. If it posts anyway, or if you're just using Facebook, it's it's that same idea, so that you can be using those stories. Mm -hmm. And then next is live on Facebook. Again, pretty similar to the Instagram version of live. Um, and the idea is you can go live and you want to interact with people, so it's a good time to look at your insights, see who's on when, tell people it's happening. Um, and it does post and save. So all the kind of same things as live on Instagram. One thing I do use is Zoom. 
and I'll do like a zoom webinar and then you can live stream to Facebook. And um, that's just a, like a way it's been easy to like talk with other people, although they might have updated it where you can go live with others. I'm not sure. In the past Facebook, mm -hmm. it was it's usually you going live versus Instagram where you can add people a little more. So there's some workarounds with that, but pretty similar function of um, Instagram. I do like to go live on Facebook, I think. Yeah. I think people watch maybe a little more, maybe just because I don't think mm -hmm. people go live on Facebook as much, yeah. although that could just be my personal feed. So when I see someone live on Facebook, I'm like, oh, where I feel like Instagram is like constant, but that yes. can also just be the people I'm following. So <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Um, and then off of that too, uh, groups. Facebook has their, your ability to create groups and be a part of groups is a huge, um, just a huge benefit. Uh, there are, um, I, I feel like I personally, when I use Facebook, I'm going on Facebook to go into the different groups that I'm in um, because there people are sharing info, they're giving resources, asking really awesome questions. There's um, most of the time, great discussions about a lot of different topics. So creating a group um, or being a part of a group is really a great way to build connection, to just access Facebook, I think, in a really, uh, in a really beneficial way. Um, but it can be a really great way to also, um, and you can also, you can do this in a couple different ways. You can create a page, which uh, you have a little bit more limitations on if you were to create like a business page versus a group. A group is really interactive. You can share a lot of things from other people. If you have a page, you're a little bit more limited in like tagging people and, and doing different things, but it can also be really um, a great way to send people to maybe like your website or to your Instagram or wherever you want to send them. A group is really a place where you could build that and have people connect with each other and try to really build a community. So those are two different things you could also create in Facebook um, to reach more of your audience. Yeah, and I think as a page, you can make a group like that your page kind of owns. So then you can yeah. just have that community within the page. And yeah. then another way I use groups is that's a, a huge way I think I've found clients on Facebook is because you can find like client specific groups and then interact with like the local area and be able to really market more specifically. Like if I have an event, I can share it in there. And I know people in Denver are seeing like this post versus like yeah. almost at first, especially shouting into the void on your page as you're like, building it. So <laughs> like, hashtags are going to help, tagging's going to help and groups are going to help really start trying to reach those different audiences because if you're just putting posts on your Facebook and like five people like it people aren't seeing your posts so you have to constantly yeah. be connecting trying to get more likes posting in groups etc yeah such a good point I love that for the business the business side of it yes awesome well, as we wrap up, there's a couple things that we wanted to shout out. Uh, if you are looking for um, a deeper overview, kind of what Bonnie and I just did, but you want to dive deeper into Instagram, Facebook, um, newsletter marketing, Stephanie Level has a course called um, Social Media Marketing that I think it's five credits. It's an amazing, you get a really great reference, a, a workbook that helps you through a lot of the deeper aspects of this. And she kind of takes more time in walking through them. So if you're looking for a bigger overview of all social media and a in, more in-depth knowledge of all things, that is a great place to go. Um, I think we both took that, Bonnie. Did you, you yeah. took that course it's, too? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, an so excellent, good. excellent resource. Everything yes. we talked about today as a business owner, you can apply this information and really mm -hmm. help um, spoof up your social media marketing. But like you said, I yeah. think it goes in depth. I think it really expands even more knowledge and um, it's just a great resource. Definitely, definitely. And then I think for the Technic, um, the Technic is gonna be a really great place if you need like a personalized 
lesson, if you want like one person to like help you walk through different things, or you have really particular unique questions, this is where the techno can come in and give you so much support. Um, I think that's what we're all about at the techno is really that individualized connection and lessons. Um, and so if you're like, okay, I got Facebook, but I really need to do Instagram and I have some really particular questions reach out and ask um you can just send us in our in our nook there's going to be um different ways to connect with us and ask for um help from one of us so it's a great place to get more targeted individualized support cool happy social media ing <laughs> <laughs> so like, maybe Gabby can add like flames coming out from your hands <laughs> yeah! rainbows or something <laughs>